could it have been the tough economic times or a case of entering the market at the wrong time? Because henceforth, the bank called Global Trust is no more. It was closed today by the industry regulator, Bank of Uganda. Since it was established in 2008, Gold Trust Bank has incurred persistent losses which have accumulated to about 60 billion. There has been no improvement in the bank's financial performance in the last five years, and there is no realistic, there is no realistic prospect that it would ever become profitable in the future. Marking its demise by policy decision. So what is going to happen to depositors' money? The Bank of Uganda has arranged for the transfer of all its deposit accounts, which amount in value to approximately 73 billion to the DFCU Bank. What if someone has a loan or credit facility with Global Trust Bank? What we've agreed with the central bank is that uh, we'll be taking on the entire loan book. But one commitment that we've made is that these loans are being taken over at their current terms. So if it's an overdraft with six months to go, they will run the entire period. If it's a loan with five years, we are going to run the loan on the same basis. No one will stop any former depositor of Global Trust from withdrawing their money if they choose not to stay with DFCU. As for the employees, it's only those in the six branches DFC will adopt that are guaranteed of a job. As for the rest, they are jobless for now. If you're a former depositor of Global Trust Bank, you are now a customer of DFCU Bank. This has been done to make sure that if you want your money, you'll get all of it. It's a model that's developed by the central bank to make sure that depositors don't lose out when banks fail. Samuel Setumba, NTV.